to BeHookedCrochet.com. I'm your host, Brittany. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to crochet the puff stitch hat. This is a free pattern. It's available at BeHookedCrochet.com. You can find that link in the description below. For this pattern, you will need one to two skeins of Vicki Howell Sheepish Yarn. And this is going to depend on the size hat that you're making. You'll also need a 55 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. We're going to begin this pattern with a slip knot. And a chain three. Now we need to join this to form a ring, so we're just going to insert our hook into that first chain and slip stitch. The majority of this pattern is worked using the puff stitch. And to create the puff stitch, we first want to pull up on this working loop and we need to yarn over, insert our hook in the middle of that ring, yarn over, and pull up a loop, and repeat that. Yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, and one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Now at this point you should have seven loops on your hook and we'll yarn over and we'll pull through all seven of those loops and to finish things off we need to chain one. So for round one we need to have a total of six puff stitches in the center of this ring. So go ahead and continue making your puff stitches to finish off round one. Once you've made all six of your puff stitches, then we need to join to finish off this round. If you look at the very first puff stitch that you made, you can kind of see that there are two loops here. They kind of look like a V. Now we're not actually going to join into that stitch, but what we're going to do is just join under these top two loops of that last puff stitch and we're going to do so with a slip stitch to finish off round one. To begin round two we need to pull up on that working loop again and if we just spread these two stitches apart we're going to create our first puff stitch right in the, the space in between the last, the last puff stitch and the first puff stitch of the previous round. Now puff stitches do take a little bit of practice to get the perfect tension, but one thing you want to be careful of is that you're pulling up on your loops as you're working them. We don't want to have them directly around the crochet hook to where it's real tight because then our, our stitches are going to be short and they're not going to be puff stitches. Round two, we need to have two puff stitches into every stitch. So we're just going to go ahead and work our second puff stitch into that same space. And we're not actually going to be working into these stitches as I mentioned before. So the next two puff stitches we want to put in between the first and the second puff stitch or where that chain space is. Now 
Now we'll do the same. We're going to skip that stitch and we're going to work in between to work our next two. And then you'll just repeat this all the way around. Once you've come to the end of the round, you should have a total of 12 puff stitches. And we're going to join in the same way that we did the previous round. We just want to catch those top two loops of the first puff stitch and just slip stitch this round together. To begin round three, we want to pull up again on that working loop and separate those stitches. And this time around, we're going to make one puff stitch and then two puff stitches and then one and two. And we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around our hats. So in between these stitches, we're going to make two. And then the next we'll make one. So you may have recognized this little sequence that we're doing for this round and basically all we're doing is following the rules of crocheting in the round so that we're increasing in a flat circle until we get the crown the proper size that we need. So with that being said at the end of round three you should have two puff stitches in your last stitch and we're just going to join now to those top two loops like we did before. And at the end of this round, you'll have a total of 18 puff stitches. For round four, we want to increase again. So we want to pull up that working loop, make one puff stitch into the first space, and one puff stitch into the next space and two into the next. 
something that will help you remember when you're supposed to be increasing is we're always going to put our increases in the same exact place. Now if you look the round before we increase because we have two puff stitches there. And so this round again we're going to have two puff stitches there. And the round after that we're going to have two puff stitches. So that's just a little bit of a visual cue to help you know when you're supposed to be increasing so you're not having to count all the time. So we'll put one into the next space. and one into the next and two At the end of round four, we should have a total of 24 puff stitches. And again, we're just going to join in as usual. And now we're ready to begin round five. Round five is going to be the last round where we're going to increase if you're using the smaller pattern. Now, the pattern that we're creating here will fit up to a size 21 inch circumference head. And there is a larger option available and that's at behotecrochet.com and basically what you're going to do is just add another round of increasing in another round at the very end of your puff stitches. So we'll talk about that a little bit more as we come to it. For now we're going to increase again for round five. So we want to have one puff stitch into the first three stitches and then we'll increase into the next stitch and as I mentioned before we're always increasing in the same place and now we'll just repeat the same sequence
Now at the end of round five, we'll have a total of 30 stitches. And again, we'll join it to finish it off. Now as I mentioned before, if you're making the larger size, round six for you is going to be another round of increasing. However, if you're following along with the smaller size, that's up to 21 and a half inches, go ahead and continue with round six as we'll show it in this video. Round six through 14, we're no longer going to be increasing. We're just gonna make one puff stitch into every single gap space. So we're not actually going into the stitches, we're going into the spaces in between. At this point you can go ahead and pause your video and finish up rounds 6 through 14 by making one puff stitch into every single one of these gap spaces. And when you're finished with round 14, we'll meet back up and we'll work on the band. Once you finish crocheting up to round 14, your hat should look something like this. We're almost finished. What we need to do at this point is start working on our band and our band is going to account for rounds 15 through 18. To begin round 15 we're going to be working in single crochet so we want to chain one and then we're going to make our first single crochet into that very first puff stitch. We're going to be working in a spiral fashion, so it's helpful so that you can count the rows if you mark this first stitch with a stitch marker. Now this is optional, but it does make your life a little bit easier. Once we've got that first stitch in place, now we'll make a single crochet into the chain space and single crochet into the puff stitch. And we're just going to repeat this. We want to make one single crochet into every chain space and into every puff stitch. Once you've reached the end of this round, we're simply going to remove this stitch marker if you are using one, and we're going to make a single crochet into that same stitch that our stitch marker was in. And that's going to be the start of round 16. And from this point, everything else is the same. So 16 through 18 are the rounds that we have to complete. We're just going to make one single crochet 
into every stitch. So I go ahead and finish up through rounds 18. We'll meet back up to finish up our hats. When you're finished crocheting your band, then we can go ahead and remove the stitch marker and let's go ahead and slip stitch into the next two just so that we can get our stitches even here at the join. So when you make two slip stitches, then we can go ahead and bind off. And we'll also weave in this tail. And now we should have one more tail on the inside of our hat here at the very beginning. And what I like to do with this one is just weave it in around the center now. I did work over some of this as I was crocheting along. And if you did the same, then you're probably okay to just go ahead and trim it off. But just for the sake of security, I'm going to weave it in just underneath a couple of these stitches. And with that, we're finished with our hats. This concludes our tutorial for the Puff Stitch Hat. Stay tuned for more free patterns and video tutorials at BeHookedCrochet.com.